and welcome to the second day of Krakow Games Day Polish Cup 10th edition 2019 and I'm once again joined by Arwen today so hello, hello. thank you for joining me well, it's an honor to be here so today we will be streaming the finals uh, fin first we will be streaming the final for the third place against uh, Wolves against Fighting Against Tyroid or FAT and after that we're going to be streaming the Grand Final Saracens versus Armia Corona thank you Han um, also if you want to let us know Han if the sound is good at the moment I'm he hearing an echo from you I don't know if anybody else is an echo from me oh hang on no it's my fault oh you have the stream <laughs> okay. open yeah <laughs> okay <laughs> yeah professional streamer here <laughs> 100% okay. quality. Much better. <laughs> All right. Um, so yeah, maybe uh, we can we can update the viewers on on the format of the tournament since we now know exactly how uh, overtime works as well. So, oh, uh, I didn't. I missed that yesterday. So you had a third map, did you? On the uh, um, we didn't had a third map, but uh -huh. um, so the how the this tournament works is uh, there's. Both teams first uh, pick and ban a map, and then we have the decider map as well, out of a map pool of five. Um, we already know that for the third place final, we will be playing on Fort of Honor and Castellum first. We don't know what the overtime map is. Uh, there should still be an overtime map. Um, but yeah, so those are the two maps we're going to be playing. Uh, each team plays one set. Uh, on each side, so on each map. So that means that we are having uh, four sets in total, and then if necessary, we will have a fifth and sixth set on the final map. It's a uh, best of five rounds on each set. So that means whatever happens, there will be five rounds played on each set. And at the end of the uh, two sets, if it would be a five five scoreline or another uh, draw, since I do think when a round draws, it counts as a round being played in the best of five. But that's something I'm not 100% sure of. But I do believe that would count as a round. And if it would be ending on a stalemate on a map, we will go to overtime where each team plays a first to three um, or a best of three. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure on that one, uh, but it should be like that. Um, and that's in the overtime and then so once again they will switch on both sides of both factions in the overtime on the map so that means that we can't have a map being drawn so every map needs to have a winner that's basically how it is um yeah and I, i'm not entirely sure on the draw rounds like yesterday they didn't end it after that one but yeah i thought it would would end after that one so I'm, I'm not entirely sure indeed. Uh, of course, if it's a best of five, it normally should count since it is a played round, but yeah. Um, yeah, it was the overtime of Castellum where Army Corona uh, managed to get the victory. But they won the first overtime with 3-0 and I think the second one, uh, they just got one round eventually. They lost one and then they got one to close it out. The stream began on the Polish one. Well, then I hope we get some visual uh, visuals soon on uh, this one as yeah, well. Yeah, we don't have any visuals on our street our feed yet, but hopefully. Hopefully we will. Um, okay, that will bring me to a quick introduction of the two teams that will be playing right now. So here we have uh, a quick overlay. So on the right side, uh, you see FAT, who yesterday lost against Saracens. And on the left side, you see Wolves, who lost against Armia Corona. So you see the both teams. Um, yeah, um, so uh, you were with me yesterday, Arwen, with the uh, Saracens versus FAT ma uh, match. Yeah. So who do you thought? 
uh, or thoughts that fought well on on FAT side of things. Oh goodness, I don't, <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember because we didn't have the streamer mod, did we? That is true. Um, so it was it was quite difficult to um, to tell who who was fighting at yeah. any one time. I I, um, I really was surprised by Lucky Blast. I think he he got some great shots off. He's playing as an archer, so I think he did a did a good job. And then also Azarek, uh, who's mainly oh, playing. Oh yeah, Cat, I remember. I yeah, Azarek did very uh, well. Didn't did also yeah. quite good. And then on the wolf side of things, um, it was a really close map on Castellan, like we just mentioned. It went to an overtime against uh, AK, and there I, I was really surprised by um, Kryzak, but also. Uh, I think it was Harmon who also did a did a great job. Yeah, well, I'm I'm never surprised by Harmon doing a great job. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's been a brilliant warband player for many years now. Yeah, Kreisek had a bit of a rough start in the first set, but then he uh, he started to to get it a bit more together for his team. Zoro actually also really surprised me, um, especially on the second map. He did quite well, but of oh, course. Oh, are we? I think we're live. Oh, are we? Yep. Might be. Oh yeah, we are. Oh, <laughs> is it already around life? Oh no, uh, I missed that one. All right, see how I'm going over the, <laughs> the bridge. Uh, okay, mm. should be good. So yeah, we. Oh, perfect. We have stream uh, mode now. So we do have finished stream mode, and you have a working stream, but for some reason I don't. What? Okay. Um, never mind. We're I think we're already in the second round. So it seems like FAT have once again won the first round on to Ford of Honor. Uh, they're playing as Serenets against Nords here. Zero in a nice position at the Stone Bridge, looking for a shot. And oh, we have an, a nice attempted flank here by Ari and I think that's uh, Azarek there of FAT. But Kryzak will uh, will put some pressure on. FAT have control over the flag, so Wolves are looking to... Uh, oh, there's the first kill of this uh, second round. Harmon onto Lucky Blast, that's one of their archers then. As it's only... Um, I really love... Oh, sorry, I, I also missed another kill, apparently. Um, since I just see that it's 5v5. As kills happening once again, Kryzak with a kill, and also uh, Azarek with a kill. Loki with a do uh, another kill for FAT, making it a 3v4. In favor of FAT, make that a 4v2. Zoro will he get the kill onto Azrak though? He gets tries to get a kick in, but it just ooh didn't manage. And that was a really nice jab there from Loki. Far distance onto Zoro and FAT taking uh, the first two rounds here. So that was a rather quick base start. Ari already in uh, some nice shining mail. And so far, we only see a kill for Harmon and Kryzak on wolf side of things. Oh, lovely! We even have some uh, some face cams at the top. Oh yeah, that's nice. Um, so I didn't see anything up till now, but I now have a feed. So. Ah, that's lovely. <laughs> A flag spawned in the graveyard. Mm -hmm. FAT are closer. I never like retreating. Yeah, it's um. Yeah, wolves are coming up Interesting fast. Interesting how they're gonna approach this. Seems like FAT are just gonna go all the way back to. Uh, might just lower the in game frame a little bit. Bit loud. Yeah. Um, but yeah, there we go, should be better. And we're still looking for an opportunity to fight here. Looking which which way they want to approach. Looks like Harmon's thinking about going around the back of the church. Yeah, together with Prince and Gorn. Yeah, so Prince doesn't seem to make up his mind which way he's going. Yeah, it's a it's a difficult part though if you want to attack from here. F18, no, they're there. Yeah. Ari's and Zoro, Zoro has that. a nice angle, though. I think Ari already got shot there. Loki and uh, Azarek as well. So Loki tries to hold off here. 
and a bit of a stalemate. And there comes in the calf now, trying to help out. That's first kill for Wolves and FAT there. FAT with another kill, Alvarez taking down Blackett. It's going left and right here. And Harmon yeah, trying to survive. Oh, double, oh, kill double kill for, kill for Prince. Prince. That is an archer in the melee fight. Zoro also with a kill on 2 FAT. Uh, Iron. So Wolves got 4 against 2. Yeah, Lucky Blast okay. literally on 1 HP here. Trying to fight against Harmon. It's going to be a difficult fight there as an archer. And they lose the fight eventually to uh, to Harmon's axe. And yeah, that was a really good round for, for Wolves there. Getting it back just in time because you don't want to let FAT steamroll over you with uh, the amount of money they will get if they keep on winning these rounds. Yeah, Prince with a 3k, especially playing as an archer with a spear, that was uh, a really great job for him. Oh sorry, he's not playing as an archer, my bad, he's playing as an elf. <laughs> I thought he was playing as an archer with a, with a spear there. I thought they were playing two archers, just like uh, they did most of the time yesterday. Yeah. But it is north, like you said, in the so it's not too surprising they're only playing one archer. I think they are gonna stick with their two archers. Now we also see some nice mail. Oh, look at this. Some, uh, some nice overlay happening here. Just a little bit off centered, but I can live with it. <laughs> Know what Prince and Harmon are up to? They they're, just, they're trying to just just jump jab. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're waiting for a, for a nice opportunity. <laughs> of course, if you if you want to get a oh, legendary oh, kill, uh, a land tournament is the moment to shine here. <laughs> yeah. Seems like uh, both teams still wanting to. Oh, there there we go. Fat are gonna go set up for yes. the flag, but as you can see, Wolves really best of push here, but. It's a really nice kill from Blackett there in the back of Popo, taking the right. And ooh, Harbour also really low HP there. Harmon gets uh, gets a kill onto uh, Loki. In the meantime, yeah, Prince also taking down Harbour and dying himself to Azurek. And nice kill from Zoro there. Loki Blast and Ari, the two archers left alive. It's gonna be a hard task for them to take down the five men, although Blackett and Harmon really low hp so it is it is possible but it will be a difficult task for them to try and get out of I, here yeah i don't think lucky blast will survive this one. Oh, yeah against these three yeah, but... and now it's up to ari trying to fight harman who has i would say five hp but uh it's going to be gorn with the kill there wolves evening it out two to two so we're already going into uh into the last round of this first set both of the, these teams have shown uh, different aspects of their uh, play. The first two rounds were really one-sided for FAT, the last two are really one-sided for Wolves. So we'll have to see if Wolves can continue their streak right now, two wins in a row, or if it's going to be FAT fighting back. They're going to go to the normal place, the stairs for Wolves. And Ari's seeing if he can get a nice early shot, but... Yeah, Ari's looking for it. Lucky Blast is once again going over to that tree, but they will have to push the flag this time. Wolves have it. Yeah, first time that we picked in on the stream that they actually got the flag in their favor. We'll have to see if they can do anything with it, or if this is the moment for... Ooh, Lucky Blast already losing a shield and is live there. Nice chat from Gorn. Really great teamwork from Wolves, catching, breaking the shield, and that's one of the archers for FAT down. Popo also on uh, half HP together with Ari. This is not looking good for FAT, but nice stop on the calf there. But ooh, that team kill, that's not what you want to see. Black it with one HP, but there goes Prysac, gets another one. Just a horse bump. It's only Hauer and Azrak left. Make that Azrak. He needs to fight a 1v6. And that's uh, a hard task ahead as he gets killed off by Zoro. And that's the first set, 3-2 in favor of 
wolves and as you can yeah. see they're so those quite the last healthy. three rounds really convincing by wolves there. Mm -hmm. they uh yeah seem to need um, to warm up a little bit and fat let it slip it's a bit what we saw yesterday as well against Sar saracens where fat started off really well in the first set uh really equal fighting although i do think the rounds were a bit closer against saracens than uh, the last two rounds we saw here by wolves being really much in their favor So as you can see, they're all also really happy, of course, after they won that first set. And was a bit more silent on the FAT side of things, <laughs> as is uh, not surprising. Yeah, I wonder if the change of factions will make a uh, huge difference. Yeah, yesterday we saw when FAT played on Sirenids, they performed really bad, actually, against Saracens. But today we... Uh, uh, there's a little bit lag on the stream. I don't know if you have that as well. Or is it? Yeah, well, I um, mine just stopped altogether for the first okay. couple of rounds, <laughs> and um, had a yeah, it bit keeps. Of lag, but it should be back now. Keeps halting every now and then. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um. Yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm really wondering how. Uh, how FAT is going to deal on another faction since yesterday I, th I believe they only won one round on Serenids in the 10 rounds they played as them or almost 10 rounds they played as them so interesting to see how they're going to deal with that Seems like they're gonna keep playing two arches though at the moment in the warm up. Uh, Wolves, of course, is now gonna switch Prince into an archer, which is the obvious choice for Saranes there. Taking two arches, especially against the. Um, yes, if you have Prince in your team, why wouldn't you take an archer? Yeah, like it's. <laughs> I it's, mean, I would have taken two archers on Nords. But. Um, yeah. <laughs> But like he did really well in that uh, that third round we we witnessed, um, yeah. where he actually got a three k and got themselves the uh, the turning point for wolves, where they actually started winning rounds. So he did a, he did a good job. As we're gonna be live, I think, into the second sets. So here you can see the rosters once again. Um, so Azarectus is our Dominic. For those who weren't there yesterday, just so y'all are up to date if we say Azarek, that that's um, Dominic. And, F and they're meeting at this corner again. Yeah, FAT is, uh, is more and aggressive seem though. to want to be, yeah, well, with Nords, I mean, why not? Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh, that's uh, a shot onto Lucky Blast. That's already uh, 20 HP gone. Zoro, nice position here. Yeah. On its own, but he has perfect view there, and that's what you want to see from Sarnet Archers. They're going to have to go forward, and uh, FAT have the flag back there. Where's Prince? Oh, there he is. Mm -hmm. oh, how are they going to approach it? They're going through the middle. They... But they oh, left Sorrow, blast. have they? Yeah, they've left Sorrow. Uh, he should have some calf support. Has he got an imp with... He got calf support with him. Uh, they're only playing two and so the two M4 here with Prince, but this is the, uh, this is nasty though. As you can see, Black is already dying. That's one of their cap then. Prince in a really bad spot here on the ground, not on the tower. Oh, unfortunate team kill there though from Lucky Blast. Harmon with a kill onto Lucky Blast, punishing him for that team kill. It's a four v three at the moment in favor of FAT. Uh, make that a three v three. Sensoro got a nice headshot, which we. Just didn't quite see, but wolves are all grouped up again as they're uh, gonna try and put pressure on FAT here. I'm wondering where Azrek is. There he is, trying to help out his infantrymen, but his horse takes a lot of damage from the decks. Trying to put some pressure on Zoro. Ari needs to hold this 1v2 out on his own. There comes the calf, gets stopped, but nice hidden. Lose his horse, managed to stay alive, switches to his sword. He's gonna fight on the flag against Gordon now. Ooh, nice headshot from Zoro, who wasn't pushed fast enough by Ari, and that's uh, something you don't want to let slip. 
Like, don't give the archer the opportunity to fire an arrow and arrow will punish him. White late for it, but now he needs to fight a 1v2. Both of wolves are pretty low as he is himself, but he gets a kill. It's a 1v1 on the flag for this first round in the second set. Ari with a little bit less health, but he gets the kill. What a clutch from Ari. Wow, yeah, really nice. <laughs> that's, a, that's a 3k in the end there. Triple kill, as you can see, indeed, for Ari. That's a, a Hartford route, round that um, Wolves, Wolves seem to have messed up there with their push. Um, and FAT look to be punishing, but then the team kill from Lucky Blast and the excellent uh, double headshot from Zoro brought it back in favor of Wolves. But then, I wonder then if there was FAT Ari. <laughs> will be more um, aggressive again. Uh, had yeah. a bit of a lift from that, I would think. I, I had to say, uh, looking back at that round, it was all FAT round, but they just let it slip. And yeah. It's only because of Ari that they're still um, as much in this one and can get the uh, the morale boost there. Wolves they made a mistake splitting up there though, didn't they? Yeah. Flag spawned in the middle, uh, FATR retreating up to it. So mm -hmm. let's see what Wolves do, whether they stay together or split again. Uh, I think they were splitting to get a crossfire, weren't they? I think Lucky Blast, yeah, he's going up, up on the high ground there. So he can control the middle. And as you can see, we have Prince there behind the rocks. But it's going to be difficult to put a good crossfire on there. I do believe... Oh, we have one of the infantries. Or Archer, sorry, it's Archer. It's Zoro is going to push on uh, on Lucky Blast. But that's Prince with a nice headshot onto Christ, uh, Azurex, sorry. And it's a uh, first kill for Wolves here this round. As you can see, FAT infantry is going to help out Lucky Blast since they let Wolves push him out of his position and there's Soro in a great position he's just gonna pop some more headshots as he was doing last round Popo really low on health oh, there goes the other kill power kills of Gorn but Soro with a triple kill right Sorry. now yeah. Whoa. tries to tries to get another one but it will be Harmon killing off uh, Popo Wits and it's all up to last man standing Lucky Blast who was getting pushed away and it's Chrysic with the final kill and an almost perfect round for the wolves there. With Harmon on literally <laughs> 1 HP. But uh, yeah, that was a great round for wolves there. I do have the feeling that FAT put Lucky Blast in a bad position and they reacted a bit too late on the push from wolves. Yeah. So it, it was funny that Lucky Blast managed to stay alive in the end there as last man standing, but. <laughs> Um, yeah, they should have, they rather should have given up their archer there instead of reacting that late and losing the whole infantry fight. But of course you don't want to let your uh, only archer go. The prince and two of the imps pushing up to the middle. Yeah. This flag, flag back in the graveyard so they'll run all the way back again now. Mm -hmm. FAT is going to actually go f through middle. Um, as they were hoping for a flag in their spawn. Flag already being raised. Zero, nice hiding spot there. Looking I'm for a, sure a flank opportunity. That. First hits here onto Blackett. Ooh, and that's a kill. Nice one from Loki. That's one of the calves down. I would say a bit too aggressive from Blackett, as uh, we do see Zoro also taking a lot of damage. Chrysa coming in with the couch, nice teamwork there, announcing it so nobody dies from his couch, as uh, Zoro is taken down by FAT Ari. So, looking good for FAT, although Gorn gets one back onto Ari. Lucky Blast gets another one onto Chrysa, that's all Calf taken down for Wolves here. It's only up to the three two infantry and, and friends here to survive. Gorn's really low. Harmon's always really low. Yeah, he, he just lives on that one <laughs> HP, but not for long as he just dies to Azurek. And what's... Oh, nice kill from Prince. Might be shining again, this time as an archer. And ooh, that's a, a nice finish mm. off there by Azurek. Giving Fat... Mm. Or FAT, sorry. <laughs> the, uh, okay. the church around here. Making it 4-4 in total. 
It, it's such a difficult name to deal with, isn't it? The yeah. the acronym FAT doesn't help. And then fighting against tyrants. In in the yeah, but in a sentence it can it can mislead. So F A T seems to be the yeah, best. <laughs> Best just way. W just want to so, make sure um, we're not offending anyone in stream. You know, <laughs> if we say if we by accident say fat, it's not meant for you. Sorry, 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 sorry. It's sorry. Not, it's not on his you. own there at the bridge. Lucky Blast is uh, shooting at him. Is he going to get the shot back? It's looking Wolf's for hanging it. Lucky out Blast is, is trying that's to contest the inn, him. isn't it? And the flag once again. Oh yeah, in favour of empty, but this feet. time they. Uh, I think wolves they're will be. They're not going to uh, raise it, are they? No, they're actually wolves is pushing up the stairs, and there's a little bit of latency here on the stream. Yeah. Sorry mm. for that. As wolves are now going to back off again, um, they don't. But they so have lucky bass. No, lucky bass <laughs> is in the cabbage field, so they're not contesting the high ground here. And it seems like they are raising the flag now. Yeah, a little bit. They're waiting for wolves to, oh, to take the initiative. They are sending Prince over to the other side. If the if the calf doesn't spot him, it's going to be a, a nasty flank for FAT there. As there's a little bit of a skirmish on the stairs here, as the stream just stopped working. Stop. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we can still hear the sounds. Uh, there's something going on. I don't know what's going on. As I can hear, still hear the sounds. I know. I kind of want to refresh, but I don't know if it's gonna, gonna help us. Can still hear the sounds, but visuals. What is happening? I think I think that's round has ended because uh, I quickly got up. <laughs> <laughs> is the other stream also uh, frozen? Or not? Oh wait. Oh, no, maybe it's I'm looking at the wrong thing. Yeah. No. yeah, sorry guys, this is not uh, on us. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> the other one we, works. We're getting the feed direct right, let, from... Let me actually get up the other one then. Um, give me a second. Uh, let's see if I can get the other stream up. So it's not over just yet. Oh, right. I'm seeing something it's, uh, now. It's a 1v1 one one between Prince, Prince and Lucky yeah, Blast, but it's Lucky, Lucky Blast who's going to win it out. So FAT taking the fourth round here. Sorry that you all had to miss this one. Um, if you just want to keep an eye out on, on our own stream, um, Marwan, if it would be back up, because then I can switch back. But now I will just take the, the Polish stream uh, without sound, so you can at least see it. Um, yeah, they, they just won by flag, so F81 by flag, Lucky Blast, fighting in a 1v1 against Prince there. And that's looking good for uh, F80 here. They uh, definitely aren't losing this first map, as they yeah, can... Yeah, we've uh, got our spot. Oh, sorry, they can, they can still lose. No, they can't lose it. Um, they can still win it, but Wolves need to win this one if they want to take it to overtime. And the flag does indeed span in Wolf's favour, so... And they're, they're already raising. Always yeah. helps to put the pressure on. But they are not staying in the graveyard, which I think can be a very good decision. Well, if Prince can Actually, just Actually, they did this last own. time, didn't they? Yeah, they the last time hanging, they... Hanging out with Sorrow around Yeah, that. they hanged out and it oh, didn't work bar. out. But then they also lost Blackett really early, so... Yeah. This time they still have him around, as he's uh, still available. And that's a nice hit there onto onto Popowitz. I think it was Chav that hit. Oh, and Lucky Prince. Blast took down Gorn. Yeah, there goes the... Oh, that's a nice kill there. I think my stream is a little bit <laughs> later than yours. But Blackett going for the kill on Ari, though. Ari's still alive. And FAT is getting the kills, but there is Blackett with the kill on to, to Ari. Lucky like, kill. Ooh, Sorry. Lucky with another um, one. That's a double kill. Yeah. Oh, and a headshot from Prince. Beautiful. Kill on Loki. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're like two seconds ahead of me. <laughs> oh, that's because I'm watching our feed. Oh, our feed again? Okay. I'm yeah. going to switch as soon as this runs over. And we have sound back for the... Uh, uh, Harmon goes down. 
So um, FAT have four against two wolves. Yeah. It's not looking good for wolves. No, it seems like FAT Black are it actually going to get this one. and yeah. killed. Yeah. No, nope, still alive. FAT take the round. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> no sorry. Problem, no I problem. should just be quiet. <laughs> no, it's, it's fine. It's fine. I was just. Uh, I'm gonna swap back to our, to our FAT. Keep uh, thinking. Why isn't he saying this? <laughs> Because I was two happening. seconds later. <laughs> that's why. Oh, um, mm. should be back. And oh, there we see quick Lottie, look. Aharo Sorry, and, I and think. <laughs> so yeah, that was. The archers did very well on those maps, didn't they? Yeah. On those the, sets. Like I mentioned this yesterday as well before we started that I I was expecting the archers to really put, or be the 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 stars of the teams. And the siding rounds, and I do think they are. Like yeah, it, it's it's something I've like. The more I I watch Warband, the more I I realize how valuable archers are. Like of course you can still have cavalry that shines and and carries the team or infantry. Uh, every every class is important, but archers have a chance to really turn things around. For example, as you saw uh, in the. In the, fir uh, in the first round of the second set where Zoro got uh, those two headshots putting everything in favor of uh, uh, four wolves but then eventually FAT winning it out in the 1v1 with a, a nice uh, triple kill from Ari and then again like FAT winning that one flag in, uh, in their own spawn there that we just missed between Lucky yeah, Blast and Prince. That 1v1 looked intense, didn't it? <laughs> I agree with you, Han. I agree. <laughs> 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 yeah. so, we uh, won't ask Conway. He decided to go one archer <laughs> then in the last tournament we played. <laughs> um, so yeah, the factions we're going to be seeing now, uh, if I'm if our information is correct, it's going to be Vagar Serenade in uh, sorry on the map of Castellum. So I'm uh, I'm really really excited about this match since FAT did win the first map without taking it to overtime or needing to go to overtime, but it was really close. Wolves did really put up a good fight, and two rounds could have just gone the other way around in that last set and it would would have been Wolves winning and uh, closing it out on the first map so we'll have to see how these teams are gonna do it on this open map I would I would favor I don't know who oh oh we get the bands oh that's lovely oh so but they banned they... Frosthaven and Sandy it's like they yeah. always ban Sandy nobody has confidence in their ribs <laughs> yeah it's it's weird <laughs> I, I would always pick Sandy <laughs> Because it's, I love inf maps. <laughs> I'm always doing good on them. Um, I quite like Sandy as an archer, actually. Yeah, yeah, like archer, not that bad, but a scav, it's it's horrible. Yes, that's um, why I like Sandy as an archer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but yeah, we're going to Castellum, and I don't know which team I would favor. I. I I would say Wolves with Krysak being a really good calf. Um, looking back, back at the statistics of last WNL7, there were quite a few people who are playing in this tournament who got some prizes there. For example, uh, Krysak got best cavalry, I believe, in the uh, Division B. And if you say so. Yeah, yeah. My my information should be correct. You can you can double check it. Um, and Habrek actually got best archer in Division A, so and he's playing on Saracen, so we will be seeing him playing later. I quite like this um, camera on the players be between maps. Mm -hmm. um, seeing them chatting and relaxing and having fun. Well, that's nice, isn't it? Yeah, it's you see them really being concentrated in the game, but. Yeah. Yeah, it's just a bunch of people who, who really like to play a game. And I, I do feel that there is, of course, the com competitiveness between these two teams. But there's also just the fact that they're all off playing Warband. 
Uh, a little bit disappointed that nobody had team t-shirts. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe maybe we will see them for the final. Who knows? Maybe someone uh, got something. Yeah, I think it's... I, I don't know if they were really ready for this. Like, how, how well... Um, like they they did announce that they were gonna do a LAN event quite early though, so they could have maybe prepared something, but of course they might have not known who was going gonna go there. Yeah, I suppose yeah, you didn't know till a week week before or something. So it looks like they're settling down for the next map. It seems like so we have a, a moving camera as well with uh, all the faces. Of course, we don't know who's who. But well, we did know that first one was Blackett, I think, didn't we? Because that was the interview yesterday. Oh, yeah, it was, it was, yeah, indeed. Uh -huh. um, Blackett of Wolves. Is that one Harmon? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> but we do know, indeed, the, the person here sitting at the corner in his red T-shirt is Blackett of Wolves. And he seems quite happy. So... Uh, it's looking forward to, to the Castello now. <laughs> Why is it your screen? Nah, they're too concentrated now. They're going into the second map. They want to get that third that third place. That's what's on the line here. And this guy seems really relaxed. Yeah, he likes so. to play. Sit, sit him all back in the chair. <laughs> It's it's really funny to see everyone having their own playstyle. I remember seeing a, another esports event where there was someone who always was sitting with his one of his uh, feet on his chair, so his <laughs> knee was sticking out, and that's how he plays all the time. And I'm like, how could you play like this? Like, oh, you do. It feels like that would be uncomfortable after like, a while. It, yeah. It's comfortable if you're playing a chill game, but not a competitive shooter or something <laughs> like that. <laughs> but. Um, yeah, as uh, Vizimir and Aharu are getting us into the game, as I do see in the background that they're starting to play, I do believe that's live footage, as oh. indeed... <laughs> it would be nice to see the first yeah. round. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> We're live from round one. Flags spawned at church, wolves are playing as Vegas, as uh, FAT as Serenades, and it is actually wolves taking full control over the flag, as you can see on the minimap. FAT needs to come from all the other sides, so they gambled on a uh, flag in center or open area, but they will have to move around. Um, quickly looking at the lineups, FAT playing with only two cavalry on this open map. Uh, yesterday we saw in the, the battle against uh, between Wolves and AK, we saw a lot of calf being played. Oh, nice couch lens there from Kryzak. Prince, Prince with a headshot. A double headshot. headshot. Double headshot. Um. And Kryzak now taken down by Azarek, but that's that's a huge impactful uh, double kill there from Prince. Gorn losing his horse though, as Wolves has taken a, a head start here. Prince fighting against Loki here. Already down to, uh, I would say, 70 HP, 60 HP. Loki taking a lot of damage here. Prince getting a bit of help. Yeah, Black and it. Harmon getting a kill as well. It's only only Loki left alive here, as he tries to stay alive, but he's getting killed off, and that's almost a perfect round for Wolves, who from the start had the advantage of deciding to go for the right side and taking the flag. And a, a beautiful double kill from Prince. We unfortunately didn't saw how he got them, but he was playing next to the to the gate at the at the river there. That was a. Uh, that's a that's a question I'm wondering myself uh, or asking myself, and <laughs> why why they're always playing serenades. I I do think they signed a contract with Tail Worlds that they will be playing serenades on every map. <laughs> um, I believe. Um, well, I I was told there was a pick ban on the factions as well, so oh, yeah, the, the teams must like it. But um, Xerxes, the score is right now one map in favor of FAT and Wolves is now in the first set leading one to zero. So we're just into uh, second map. Into the second map indeed. But this time FAT, oh, once again, Prince 
disposition. Where is he? Oh, I'm not nice aware position from his there. position, and he's just shooting freely, getting those Bonus headshots taken down by Lucky Blast. So. Yeah, evening it out a little bit, but uh, it's not looking all too good here. As Lucky Blast oh, actually gets a double one. Fighting against two. Uh, another one, sorry, and. Uh, Lucky managed to stay alive after he lost his horse. Howard, Howard is pushing here, but this is this is the moment where Prince is gonna start shooting once again. Zoro gets him down, gets the headshot onto Azarek, and Howard in a really bad position here against Harmon and Prince and Zoro. Lucky Blast with his third kill of the round, evening it out in a three v three. Lucky Blast really carrying here. Prince is trying to put some pressure onto Ari, but he's getting shot from Lucky Blast. Lucky Blast with the fourth kill. Can he get all? <laughs> Can he get the six yeah. k? <laughs> if he if he gets, he will be he will be man of the match. No no matter what happens, <laughs> he was he was doing good yesterday against Saracens, and he only needs to kill two more. Zoro and Harmon. Zoro is getting pressured by Loki. Harmon is gonna go for the flag, but it's still one minute. It's a long time. It's Loki with the kill onto Zoro, so no six kills for Loki yes. Blast, and Ari gets the final one. But Loki Blast with a four k, what? What a job from that guy. What a job. So, uh, yeah, Lucky is playing with, with no boots the whole tournament. And, <laughs> and it's uh, it's really working out <laughs> for him as the stream just froze again. <laughs> Not again, yeah, please. I can't, can't see anything here. Black screen right oh, now. Oh, and it's gone black. What about? Is it coming back? I said it was gone black. Oh yeah, I I might just switch back to the uh, to the other stream then real quick. Still hearing the sound. Oh, I I. Somebody's I shooting. I muted my sound. My bad. Got that. I'm quickly gonna switch back to the other one. Uh. Oh, it's back. I'll back. Is it back? Yeah. Okay. I mean, mine's not moving, but. No, no, it's back in the... Uh -huh. Now we should be back in. Uh, yeah, thank you, Hun, for the update. The flag is indeed in the middle, and FAT have control over the flag. Wolves have actually decided to once again gamble on church. Ooh, almost a couch there onto Loki. Wolves still playing with the three calf pins, getting shot, but Loki as well. Taking a hit there. A little bit of a calf skirmish. It's going around. Like being raised by FAT. Yeah. Looking, Ari is sitting in bunker. Try. Lucky Blast is playing. Oh, there he is at the, at the other bunker. Or, uh, stone wall. As he's gonna. He has some nice shining armor there. As hard. Looks quite high. Yeah. Prince with the first kill onto Loki though. Still popping off. Not a headshot this time, but <laughs> it doesn't matter if you get the kill. Harmon is actually going to put pressure onto Lucky Blast together with his cavalry. Lucky Blast managed to stay alive, and it's actually Prince with another kill. And Azarek getting one back onto Zoro. It's not looking uh, good for FAT here in this calf fight against three calf from Wolf. So, difficult Prince with another headshot onto Azarek. But I think you've got full protection on Lucky Blast there. Yeah. It's a 4v3 at the moment. Everything's still possible. Flag is still in favor of FAT. And Why they realize this they now. And it's 20 off? seconds left yeah. on the board. They're going to need to fight on the flag. But with two calves left alive for Wolf, it's going to be a difficult task for FAT. Onto. Yeah, but there's a kill from Harmon onto Popo and a double kill onto Harmon. Double kill for Harmon. And I don't so think it's Lucky only Blast. Lucky Blast now, so yeah. you won't get to shoot. <laughs> and there he goes. If he managed to stay alive, he might have gotten the draw on the flag. If he would be at the flag, of course. But Prince on 1 HP. I think everyone there was on 1 HP almost. <laughs> really close round, actually, if you look at that. But it will I think be. Harmon only wakes up when he's under 5 HP. <laughs> mm -hmm. I do see that my, my own stream has quite a bit of a delay here when I'm watching it myself. <laughs> so. Um. Yeah, Wolves once again gambling on that church pan. Just 
interesting to see if they will actually uh, get it once again. Not flag spawned by the other side. So in favor of Down by the river. And they will be able to mm. take the better position this time, although... They're already on it, yeah. Last time we, we were at this flag point, we saw an incredible lucky blast pulling it all together and giving FAT a, a round win there. Yeah, and you would have thought the Cavs would have been able to hassle him there, so uh, perhaps they'll um, put more effort I into don't, it. I don't really know what happened to Wolf's Cav. I think he just killed him. <laughs> 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 That's how you deal with it. He just killed him. Uh, so, Wolf Zimf coming through the middle. Uh, they do have some people going for tower though. I think that's going to be Prince they're going to be setting up there. Yes, indeed it is. Prince with some nice heavy armor there. Setting up. Lucky Blast is a different corner this time. Harry getting uh, bullied by Cav there, but managed to stay alive. But he needs to look out for Prince yeah. there, who's really Go looking for a shot. Castling Lucky Blast a bit. Yeah, but Lucky Blast just shooting his horse, getting a little bit pressured by Prince and Cap. Oh, nice. And, oh. This one, but Black it yeah, gets Black eventually it. finished off. Born there, really bad spot once again. Gets the hit in from Lucky Blast, and Howard is helping him out now. And that's a good teamwork from FAT, but it's still 5v4. Everything's still possible as Harmon got one kill back. Prince in the open. Harmon gets another one. Second kill of this round. As Prince is just wide in the open fighting there. As Harmon is looking to fight Hauer here. Not really happening much. Hauer loses his shield. Harmon with this nice Sarnet axe here. Putting up a good fight and Prince gets the shot eventually. Lucky Blast is getting pressured now by Harmon. Harmon with oh. the third kill of the round. <laughs> Lucky Blast denied his clutch potential here. Prince really low on health though. Loki's gonna dismount. Getting a lot of hits in by Prince. And that's a nice teamwork for Harmon and Prince. With Wolf sticking the fourth round, making it 3 to 1 here. On really nicely done by Wolf. <laughs> Yeah, it looked to go <laughs> quite the other uh, the other way around, but Wolves really pulled yeah. it back. Good teamwork. Um, Harmon not being too aggressive, just went back into the 1v1, didn't contest with Lucky Blast before Prince helped him out with the infantry. And then he just managed to get the kill. Wait, 16 kill? Um, uh, he has indeed 16 kill. That's <laughs> I didn't even notice that while you... Thank you for... Uh, putting that under our attention but seven kills for Harmon and nine for Prince both of them really carrying carrying this team right now as FAT have lucky blast with the four kills in that one round they won but other than that um, it's a bit more spread out and most of them actually have one kill Howard, Popo and uh, Ari so they will really need to step up something uh, with Gorn here, his horse taking a lot of damage by FAT. So that's a good shot from them. Gorn, Gorn's horse will, horse will probably die from a, a good swing or a nice arrow. As FAT once again have control over the flag. But how am I going forward on his own? Ooh, how are we getting shot though? So Prince, uh, where's Prince playing? Actually, trying to find him. But Ari's getting pushed here by Harmon and a nice shot from Prince. So Prince has come flank around and Harmon once again just looking for these kills together with some archer support from Prince and Prince gets another headshot. A third kill for Prince, he's just <laughs> Harmon with another one as well. And it's just all wolves. Lucky Blast needs to get to 6k if he wants to win this one. He didn't he wasn't able to get one last time. And he wouldn't be able to get it this time either. Price I killed him off. And that's 12 kills. So that's 20 kills in total for Prince and Harmon. That's that's unbelievable. They do they do need to figure out how to stop this. Of course they had figures. Prince has a Vagar archer. Really good class. Harmon has a Vagar infantry. With that scimitar, it's a lovely weapon to have. But FAT will need to fight back from this. Ooh, 
It will be difficult, of course, but I do, I do have faith in Lucky Blast. Landing some shots as a Vagar Archer. And I don't know if this is live. I don't think so. It doesn't seem like live. No. <laughs> if it would be live, I would be really surprised. Um. So, is it? Uh. Oh, it's by maps, isn't it? I keep forgetting that. Yeah, yeah it's by maps. So rounds don't, oh. don't matter. If FAT would win five in a row, they win the second map, but they need to win five zero. So it's it's really unlikely to happen. It might happen, but it will be really difficult for them. As we once again get a, a nice view here of Fizimir and Ahara, or Ahara and Fizimir, I should say. And both of them having a nice, nice shirt on for the final day. <laughs> no tie just yet, but you know we can we can live with this. <laughs> yeah, I've got my tie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sitting here in my jacket and tie. Why aren't they? <laughs> of course. <laughs> just on my hair and such. You know, look looking good on mm. stream. Even if you don't see me. <laughs> um, Ahara is the, is the left person and Fizumira is the, the right person. Or the person with the blonde hair. And Ahara is the one with the brown and black hair. I can't really say if it's black or brown. But um, yeah, they're giving some uh, analysis of what just happened. Uh, I think we all saw what happened and there was wolves <laughs> destroying FAT on Costellum here with Prince and Harmon doing yeah, the majority but they of the were work. They were Vegas. So, they were Vegas um, indeed. So we'll have where to the, see. Where the, um, the archers for mm -hmm. FAT will do an equally good job. And, and I still do believe that FAT don't like playing as Saradans. <laughs> Since so far this tournament they've only one if i'm correct uh i think six rounds in total i'm sorry say of not even six right they want to um we seem to be no, starting sorry. again they, they now won they won only f uh four rounds on sarnets i believe so far but we are indeed gonna go live into the second set on castellum our second map where wolves is leading four to one and they seem a bit indecisive where they want to go, but they are taking position at the church, but this time but they, they don't have the flag in their favor. And it will be FAT setting up for a flag defense here. Last time they set up as Serenids, it was a great performance from both Prince and Harmon getting yeah. winning him that winning wolves that round. Lucky ignition. Blast seems to be taking that corner on the. Uh, yeah, this is different the... with Ari. I don't know. Ari is still uh, really aggressive here, as he will need to. Yeah, head he out needs there. to back up fast. Yeah, Wolves once again playing with three cap FAT, sticking to their two 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 setup. Raising um, the flag. My stream is so laggy. Are you getting a better? Uh, it's not great. Um. I do have the feeling that when I'm looking at my own stream, it looks better quality. Which Armin is really jumping good. down on top of Lucky Blast there, but he's not alone. Yeah, um, FAT really good grouped up. Here. Where's Where's the rest of? Harmon managing to take down Loki's uh, Loki's horse. Kev coming in now though. Zoro and Prince have a really nice angle here, as you can see. Prince getting the first kill. I think I'm all not, I'm not sure up Prince here. can. And Prince is just going to be able to shoot down from here on them. Harmon jumped again. <laughs> they have nobody to, able to put pressure on Prince now. This is not looking good. Lucky Blast is gonna try and flank around, but it's gonna take so much time. It's not gonna work out as Ari is now getting pressured. Harmon taking the uh, kill. Harmon very much alone, but it doesn't seem to Yeah, matter. it seems FAT is all over the place right now. Wolves, really good teamwork as Gorn has taken down Lucky Blast. Loki. Prince getting ta taking down Loki. Harmon Another taking down Another kill Howard. for Harmon. And there you go, Prince with the third kill of this round. And Harmon with two, once again, just carrying their team. 
And it's already on map point right now. Seems like FAT will need to regroup themselves for the last map, which will be Reverend Village. I don't know which factions we will be playing, but seems like it's, it's quite funny because I, I thought in advance uh, before we went into Castellum that Azerect um, and the Calf of Wolves might be might be better and helping them out. And of course, they're doing it. They're still doing their job, although Blackett uh, didn't manage to get, I think, a single kill last game. Um, but Gorn and Chrysek are doing doing their job as cavalrys, and they might make it easier for Prince and Harmon to to get the kills that they get. But I I didn't expect it to be an inf and an archer carrying them through this one, as Prince once again gets a yeah, kill. Yeah, that, that FA2 all in the woods, even though the flag has spawned in the middle. I, I think they're taking a little bit of a, a, a wrong approach here. Um, yeah. Just as in Prince last round. again shooting freely. They, yeah, mm. they're just playing so defensively and it's not... This is not how you... How you win. We, we saw them on the last map playing really aggressive as Nords. And that actually was how they started winning some rounds again. Even though they lost yeah. the first set. Who's that? Like Sorrow very much on his own over there. Yeah, nice wiggling there. Nice moustache as well, Zara. Mm -hmm. Compliment you on that one. Oh, but he's <laughs> running away quite fast. F-80 very far behind him. Yeah, Zara still falling back there. Has a flex plant in the middle and is being raised by wolves at the moment. Very concentrated faces everywhere. F-80 of course still a man down. And they're starting to group up here. Although they are really spread out. I say group up, but their cavalry is so far, and their archers are so far away from their infantry. They're going for Prince, but. Yeah, and that's what they to need to do, but. Ah, there we go. That's a huge impactful kill, but Blackett helps out. I think that's his first kill of this map, and it's a, it's a good one helping out Harmon there. He's looking for another one. Ari managed to dodge that couch there. He's fighting against the wall. Zoro with a kill onto Azarakto. So it's a 3v5 at the moment. Chrysak really low on health. Though. Everything is still possible for FAT, but as Chrysak gets Lucky Blast, it's getting more difficult. With every second, as Chrysak gets a double kill here. And just as I was speaking of Kev, Chrysak ends it off with a triple, showing that the cavalry Lovely is still triple. there. Is that the, yeah, spreading out those kills. The team. That was a, a great, great map from Wolves. Just perfect. They only lost one round, and <laughs> showing that they're they're still not out of this third place. And both teams will will need to consider their tactics. Or Wolves probably just gonna stick with it. Although we're just gonna move back to a close map, so maybe that's more something again for F-80. They're not playing out the rounds. They did no. yesterday, didn't they? Uh, they did yesterday, but only in the first first match. So in the... Um, well, I didn't see the second match. So yeah. I've still got that to look forward to. I will watch that one again. Yeah, I think in the second one after the... So the first map, of course, was overtime. So uh, as soon as that was like uh, decided, they also switched off. Um, I do think it's not a, a bad idea, although I just see that the stream is frozen again. Um, so that's one map each. Yeah, one map each, so Wolves we're going into... Really this the first time we actually go there. into a decider. So it's oh. going to be interesting to see how that's going to pan out. We do get a, a nice camera angle here from the wolves guys. As you can see very concentrated. And here you see the stage of course. Really lovely stage. 
Yeah, yeah, very, very nicely done. Uh, Haru's done a brilliant job of this uh, um, whole game day thing. Mm -hmm. Just so so exciting to have another uh, warband offline tournament. Yeah, it's, um, like it, it really gives other um, tournament organizers the the opportunity to also organize something like this of course it's, it's not always a possibility but might be something that especially if we uh, if we ever get to see banner lord <laughs> might be uh, might be interesting to to see uh, what we can what we can do there and have some some nice land tournaments i also do like the fact that it's a 6v6 this time and not um a 5v5 just showing that five is too small yeah, um, I, 6v6 I, is also too small. It's it's still small for Warband, <laughs> definitely. Although in esports, it's it's one of the biggest games. Like I don't think there's many games which are more than 6v6. Uh, I think yeah, 6v6 well, you can is see it's easier for the organizers. Yeah, but um, I think I think War Warband is more interesting with more players in a team. Yeah. I I actually. We, we may we may need to set up a tournament. Um, I don't know if it's possible in Warband, but maybe maybe when Bannerlord comes out, where it's a tournament with huge clans, like a hundred versus a hundred, where you have, for oh, example, right, yeah. like groups of twenty archers and cavalry, and all like on a big grand well, scale. Well, the first Warband tournaments were bigger. Yeah, like, but like bigger teams. I, yeah, I don't think they. Was there ever a tournament like where they really had like a hundred versus a hundred? I don't know. I remember an IG birthday event where we had, um, well, I can't remember if it's 100 versus 100 or if it was more than that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. I agree um, well, yeah, that 8v8 is a bit too much for an actual esports scene. 100% um, agree. It, it's just, it's lo like logistic wise, it's really difficult to have eight PCs next to each other with eight people and such. As. Um, I do think 8v8 is, is really interesting for Warband, but 6v6 is probably the best compromise you, you would get if you want to take it to um, esports. Because again, I think I think the facility where um, the previous LAN event, the Battle of Bucharest, was held, was also a 5v5 because that's the facility they had. It was a yeah, setup for five, five people on each team. But that's putting the um horse behind the cart really isn't it having yeah, it your, is, yeah. <laughs> having your um, tournament set up mm -hmm. but yeah of course if if you go to a dictated by the location yeah that's yeah it's true like if you just make your own it's um it's easier you can just control what's, what's happening and and how many you would play um so it would be possible to do 8v8 of course but i i really want to see like 100 versus 100 battles which is basically what we what we do with culture arms, especially in the beginning. We have like these big battles, but it would be lovely to see it as some sort of tournament format, where you have a, a bunch of clans facing each other, and you have different squads and divisions working together. And it's, yeah, yeah, that's that would be lovely. It, it's it's something, of course, it would never be like something for esports, but it would be, I think, also enjoyable to watch because it would just be massive medieval battles um uh, they are hun but the the thing is they're they're not um like some of them are scripted i believe i believe the third third are doing some i don't know if, if any of you know uh shatman who is uh, uh i think the 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 biggest uh nw streamer um or commentator i should say caster uh, lovely guy because a lot of nw um tournaments and such which is definitely worth watching and um, has a lovely voice as well so, I, I i do believe on nw they're they're more um aware of doing that and i, I think they also don't summon native but I, I i don't think it's it's ever been where it's a tournament where you have like multiple teams of, or clans of like 100 people uh fighting each other so that that's my goal. If Bannerlord comes out and we can we can set something up like that, I think it would be would be lovely to do. But that's for the future because right now we're 
we're waiting for our overtime map. <laughs> Yeah, I think so as well, Wally, that there has been. Um, I, was it a, tour a tournament as well? I don't know a tournament. Uh. Well, it actually had multiple teams of like hundreds of people or 100 people. That I should check it out then. I, I don't, I didn't saw that one. So maybe, I, I think in Warband at the moment, it's probably a bit too late since it's not as active as Oh, we've got it a seem to just go map. into Legacy Town. Uh, it seems to be live, so we're straight gonna hop in this one. And the factions are Nords versus Rodox. <gasps> no Serenets. How lovely. <laughs> As it's gonna be FAT starting on Nords here. As I really did well on Fort of Honor as Nords, so we'll have to see. One Archer, two Cav, three Imp for Nords. Two archers from Rodox. Well, two crossbows. Yeah, not both. surprising once again. Although I do believe they had. Was FAT playing two archers on Fort of Honor? I know Wolves wasn't when they played on Nords. Um, I'm just thinking if, if Ari was. Yeah, I don't remember. <laughs> it's just like long the ago. thing is, like, you're switching between <laughs> classes as well. It's, it's making it difficult. Yeah, flag is spawned um, under the feet of uh, FAT. Oh yeah, at the stables there, I believe. The, the minimap is a bit weird, yeah. um, but it seems like Wolves is going to split up um, a little bit here. Coming in from the side, yeah. Yeah, so we have Sora here my, as well. My stream is still stop starting, so... Oh, mine, mine is good at the moment. <laughs> Yes. I think they have control over the flag still. It's going to be interesting to see if anyone of Wolves is going to flank around to Cryosec or Black. Oh, there's oh, a first the kill and that's Loki, goes Loki down. taken down. As camera is uh, spinning around, showing all angles of the map. <laughs> Prince free shooting at the moment. Yeah. There comes in the gap. Black is not Harmon's trying to push Lucky so with his second kill of the round. Harmon taking some damage here. As Gorn gets the kill. Ari with the first kill for FAT. Finally starting to switch it around. But Sora and Prince in free shooting mode as Lucky Blast. Just together with Azrak, the only two people alive for FAT. And a lot of wolves also taking a lot of damage, but. Not as much as FAT as I still have five people alive. As we're trying to survive here, might be able to stay alive, but it's 26 seconds. It's gonna be difficult. They might be able to take actually one with him. Looking for the kill onto Blackett. And he actually gets the kill onto Cryosec. That's. Yeah. It, it's, it's a late kill, but it's still impactful. If you can't take down that calf, that means they're not gonna get on a warhorse. Prince is looking for. The kill, final kill here, looking for Zoro, looking for the infantry of Harmon, but Harmon is gonna deny that one and he seemed to have had a pike ready, so he was full prepared for that calf charge. And it's looking that Wolves is gonna keep going on their momentum as they have one person not spawning in. Ah, oh, there we go. Like it managed to spawn in. As we only have two kills on FAT. I'm gonna approach it from the same direction. Wolves is gonna be a lit, little bit more defensive around the possible flag area. Where I think FAT forgot a little bit where the possibilities were uh, for oh, flag yeah. spans. Um Han was saying Loki went in, so F A T and now one archer, one cav, four in. Oh yeah, that's interesting. I I didn't notice that either. Yeah, Loki playing cav, uh, the previous two maps I believe. Um, definitely on Castellum. But and, uh, why aren't they pushing? They've got four. Yeah, they got Norden. four in and an archer, but seems and like they want to play it safe on the flag. To yeah. be honest, like. 
if you had two arches, you could have put a, a great crossfire here, what we saw yesterday um, being done by uh, Armia Corona, where they set up a beautiful crossfire between now Ness, they're pushing. Um, and right now they're going to start pushing indeed, but it's Harmon and Prince with the two kills once again. These two guys carrying wolves so much, but a double kill for oh, FAT now. Prince is down, yeah. That evens it out. Harmon also in that spot that nice thing to switch to his uh, one-handed weapon, but Howard with a double kill. FAT just Harmon turning this around and a double kill free. for Lucky Blast as well. And it's all up to Zoro to manage to win this one at Howard on one HP. Like a, <laughs> a hair, a hair left on his head that's still managing to give him some uh, some power but other than that if he loses that one he's dead <laughs> so we're looking for the kill here getting pressured managing to, oh, and just as he dies i believe no he kills loki i believe still fighting but he got shot by lucky blast that's i think what happened since the stream froze, but my, my, oh yeah, my stream uh, froze. According to I the sense, and if you look at the <laughs> scoreboard as well, uh, Loki Blast yeah. only died once, so he did indeed not die. Uh, Loki died once, so I do think he didn't die either. Um, just thinking, woof. Or was it someone else fighting him? I thought it was Loki. Um, Oh well, we don't know who died there, but somebody died, I think. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, eventually died by Lucky Blast, I believe. Han's saying yeah. Lucky shot him. I suspect Han is also watching the uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. stream, and therefore... An inf died. Do you know which feed? inf, I don't know which inf, enlighten me. <laughs> <laughs> I know it right, was like Loki. Flag has spawned but, again. Uh, and it's kind in favour of wolves this time. Yeah, like, running all the way around. Yeah, it, I... I, I would want to push from middle as well for this flag. You don't really want to push from that like uh, mm. north spawn area. It's not. It's not really a nice position. Of course, you c you still have a crossfire here, but it's. I I do feel you have a better chance of fighting the crossfire. As you can see, they can just jump down on Zoro. As uh, Prince is still shooting freely, though he's getting. Uh, it's not getting pressured at the moment. Although the cap is looking Lucky to get involved here shooting. here comes Azurect, he's gonna try and come in? no as Pryzak is coming in nice kill onto Ari getting Azurek getting stopped and he's so low on health and it's all wolves now three kills in a row but there comes Popowitz killing off uh, Blackit okay. FAT starting to fight back here but Lucky Blast getting pressured by Harman and <laughs> flies off the staircase Double kill from Harman. Yeah, Popo with a double as well, or his second kill, sorry, of this round. Gorn real low on health. So, could maybe get something out of here, but it's gonna be Gorn with a double kill. So, a lot of double kills here in this round, but it will be Wolves taking it away. Thank you, by the way, Hunt, for your uh, accurate update. Really appreciate it. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know why my feed is so bad, but it's um, it's just stopping all the time. It's it, I think it's just the stream itself. Like I have it sometimes as well, where it stops, it freezes, and then it it goes black. Really. No, really but bad. all the time mine's stopping. I'm not seeing a lot of the action. Oh, okay. Yeah, that that's yeah. probably on your end. <laughs> <laughs> Mine yeah. is like once in a while it happens, but it's it's, it's fine. F A T pushing straight in here. I th I think this is a good idea. Yeah, they have the ends. Um, you just um, don't want to get caught up is. there. Oh, he's yeah, but that's a, a that's a lovely shot. Seen prints on the other Prince. side. Yeah, and almost a couch there, but or a hit, I should say. Now they're backing off. Ooh. I wonder Getting if they're trying to get the back out of here. Lucky blast. And Lucky there he blast. goes down to Prysak. Mm. Prysak yeah. taking a lot of damage though, but Wolves having the man advantage. FAT not having an archer right now. As Prince get another one. It's not looking good for FAT. They still have their four imps, but now it's gonna be uh, Wolves just needing to not try and fight this in another way. 
And there goes power as well. Ari with one kill though. Uh, Gordon yeah. really low. It's still possible for FKT, but Isaac with a nice kill there. Ari with the double with together with Isaac and the final one for Prince. Wolves taking it 3 to 1, and we can see the frustration happening at FAT as uh, they're looking to start getting nervous because it's slipping away from them after they won the first map. Yeah. Don't see any change of setup. Um, I don't know if it's a problem of setup with FAT. I would say it just. Um, making some mistakes and getting really punished by wolves right now. Yeah, I think they should have carried on with that push. Um, they realized Prince was like on the other side, but if they'd carried on pushing around. <laughs> oh, nice what shot the there. A double headshot from the two crossbow um, wolves that are mm. gonna just finish the set off with a bang. And so the Azarek left alive now. And that's all she wrote for FAT in this first set of the overtime map. And Wolves taking it 4 to 1. Showing Cossack, that they. Sand Harm and all the six kills. Yeah. Seems like they really want to get that third spot, and FAT will have to really fight for it if they want to make a chance. Yeah, and that was basically what happened in that uh, that fourth round. We just have to see what mm -hmm. uh, wolves do with Nords, but I'm, I'm thinking we'll see some fa fairly aggressive pushes. Yeah, definitely. I I also I don't know what what happened to FAT though. It seems like they they lost a bit of. Um, it looks like they lost confidence. Yeah. The second round they did manage to win, but still it was really, really scrappy, and they just won some good end fights, and then eventually uh, managed to bring it down to I think a four v four v one, which they managed to to win, of course. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's um, I don't. It's just you need to you need to kill Prince right now. Um, I think that's that's their main goal, and if possible, Harmon as well. And then I do think they have a a, a bigger chance of fighting wolves. Yeah, they might have just lost morale, but then again, everything is still possible. Like it's it's not that like if they lose the third round, it's two one. It's not that much of a of a change really but of course every every loss is um, it doesn't make you happier let's put it that way and I think wolves are really really carrying over from the previous map where they they won 6-1 so actually yeah. I, I, I didn't and pay enough those. attention who picked which map but I I do believe that Wolves picked Castellum. I don't know. I, I thought it was um, Wolves banning Sandy Bush and FAT banning Frosthaven, and I thought FAT picked Fort of Honor and Wolves uh, picked Castellum, which would make sense since we since we played Fort of Honor with. Uh, FAT yesterday and we did play Castellum with Wolves so that might have been their, their favourite maps We seem to be back into it again Yeah and we do see two archers on the Wolves Sorry together with two Cav and two Inf and on FAT we do see only one Cavalry still being Azarek As both teams seem to just hold a stance here. And Waiting for flag. the flag and it came in yeah. the right place. <laughs> For walls at least. <laughs> um, 
FAT really aggressive this time onto Zoro. I like this. It's looking good. Prince is situated in that arcway. So it would be nice if they could send the cap over, although I do see that the cap is getting uh, pursued by someone else. So FAT falling back now. Harmon did got lit up a little bit. Just uh just as Popowitz right now. I'll just come back to where he was. He, he yeah. wandered back towards Prince. The infantry is once again going to push Chrysak with the kill onto Azrak. So that's Gav down for FAT. Harman also really low on health as there comes in the Gav and Blackie with a nice catch onto Loki. Seems like Wolves are going to finish this one off. Not going to let it come to any overtime on this on this final map. Yeah, it's only Ari left alive and you're getting shot to pieces and killed off by cavalry by Chrysak. With uh, this time actually no kills from uh, Prime Prince, sorry, only one kill for Han. So, uh, it's only one round. <laughs> give them a, give them a chance. Uh, uh, it's not a kill <laughs> from Prince this round. It's quite important information. <laughs> um, yeah, it's it's really weird. Um, I, I do think FAT lost their organization. Also just bad timing, you know. The infantry started pushing just at that moment they lose their only calf. It's not something we want, want to happen. And as you can see now, Loki actually switched to calf. This might be might be the thing they needed. They might need a second calf. And this might help them out. We will have to see as the flag spans once again in favor of wolves. I do, I do feel that also just shows that Wolves is uh, mentally more prepared for, for example, the flag. They chose uh, they choose the right locations. Uh, FAT is a little bit late, although they're now going to push from from uh, their spawn, which is getting difficult as Wolves is actually going to pressure them real hard. Christ, they're getting stopped to a nice work from Pokerwood. As Howard gets him, uh, Popovitz gets him, sorry, get it with uh, Howard, but Blackett getting a kill back here, getting stopped though in a bad position, as Howard looks for a kill, ooh, takes a lot of damage there, but it's actually Howard Ar with kill Ari and takes down Blackett. Howard with a team kill though, that's unfortunate, oh, and Prince with a kill yeah. into Loki, making it a, a 2v4 now, and that team kill really is gonna hurt FAT. As Harmon is just putting the pressure on these two archers, not able to do anything. As both Soro and Prince are peppering them down with arrows. There goes Lucky Blast, and there goes Ari. Prince and Harmon finishing it off. What a and kill! That's gonna be game over. So GG to Wolves for getting the third place in the Polish Cup 2019, the 10th edition of the Polish Cup. And commiserations to FAT, we put up a really good fight today. Uh, yeah. But we'll have to go home with uh, an honorable mention. Of <laughs> yeah, congratulations to Wolves on their bronze. Um, yeah. Really surprised though. Um, I didn't expect both of these last Last two uh, two maps to go that much in favor of wolves. I thought FAT would be able to to keep up their momentum from the first first game. I'm always surprised when Harmon's teams don't win. <laughs> <laughs> so I just have such faith in him as a tactical genius. I just say, oh, why have they lost if they do lose? <laughs> well, Harmon won, you know, third place. So it's something. <laughs> It's not a, it's not a grand prize, but um, yeah, Wolves really putting up a good fight against Armia Corona yesterday, and today they um, they just showed that they were more comfortable on uh, Castellum and Legacy Town. Really, yeah, it was a really close one in the beginning. Where I like I mentioned just after the first map, I I do believe that Wolves could have won that one as well. If it w didn't came down to those two one v ones in the second set, where um, Ari got a nice clutch and Lucky Blast managed to win on flag. So, uh, yeah, those uh, that um, that Ari clutch was was pretty amazing actually, wasn't it? It was a really good yeah. job. By him. Also, Lucky Blast, like I, I 
want to keep mentioning him where he the only round I won on Castellum was purely because of him but for his 4k so um, they definitely showed that they're they deserve their place at the slam final they put up a good yeah fight. yeah definitely so uh, we will have to see who's gonna win this whole thing when we go to our grand final between Saracens and Armia Corona so I hope you all will be watching that one. I will quickly restart the stream um, just to be make right sure back. that I don't start lagging um, <laughs> and then we will be back with the grand final.